Keywords are another type of metadata that come really in handy, especially when you're trying to find subsets of the images that you work with commonly. So in Bridge, there's an actual separate panel just for keywords. And not to get confused, keywords, again, are saved as metadata in the file. It's just that you might have multiple keywords assigned to the same image. So Bridge has provided you an expanded set of user interface for managing and creating and applying keywords. Any keyword you assign to a particular image would show up for the selected image or images in the metadata panel as well. So you can see that I can choose any image in this particular folder here. If I go to the keywords panel, you can see nothing is checked. Therefore, if we go to the metadata panel and actually scroll down until we see the keywords field, you can see there's nothing there. Later on, when we add keywords to these particular images, you'll see that those keywords would indeed show up in this keywords field of the metadata panel as well. So let's learn how to create new keywords and then apply them to selected images. To do that, we'll go to the keywords panel. And these are just the default keywords that Adobe put into Adobe Bridge, just to kind of give you an idea of how these work. You can certainly delete these if they don't apply to you and create your own. Whenever you see this gray bar with a twisty triangle or disclosure triangle, that's a category of keywords. And then these are the actual keywords that you can assign to individual images. So you can create new categories or new sub keywords. The big plus sign here in the bottom right creates this new high level keyword category. And then this button here with a little indention arrow creates a new keyword. So if I wanted to add a new people keyword, like Maya or Sophia, the names of these sisters, I would click on the word people, the category there, and click the create new sub keyword option button here. So go ahead and click on that. I'm just going to go ahead and type in the actual name. So I'll do Sophia. Hit return. I'm going to create another sub keyword, but I want to again do that at the people category level. So I'll click on people first, click on the new sub keyword button and we'll type in the word Maya. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and make my selection of images that I want to apply the keywords to. So I'm going to select all the Sophia images. And to select discontinuously, meaning images that are not necessarily next to each other or adjacent, on the Mac you would hold down the Command key. On Windows you would hold down the Control key. So I'm just going to hold down that key and click, then hold down the Command key or Control key and click again. I'm going to click on just the images of Sophia. I'm going to skip the ones where the sisters are both in the frame and just tag the ones that only have Sophia. So again, I'm just holding down the command key. Again, on Windows, that would be control and just clicking on those images that just feature Sophia there. Go ahead and click on the Sophia checkbox in the keywords panel. And Bridge will start embedding that keyword into these files and it does it in the background so you can continue working. All right, so I've done that. Let's go ahead and deselect by clicking in a blank spot. And then I'll hold down the command key or control key again and just select the Maya images, the images that only have the other sister in the frame. And I think I got all of them. Yeah, oh, one more there. Great. Let's go back to the keywords panel and we'll click on the checkbox for Maya now. Excellent. So now that's all been done. Again, it's writing and saving that keyword metadata into the files themselves. If we click on any one of these images that we just tagged, so let's click on this image here, you can see the check mark has been applied in the keywords panel. You get a little summary at the top of the panel showing you all the keywords that have been assigned because you can assign as many keywords to any given image that you want. And then if I go to the metadata panel and scroll down, you can see in keywords that word has indeed been added to the metadata of that image. So there you have it. Very easy way to create and assign keywords to your files. If you want to embed the same keyword to a range of images, you could also create a template and do it that way. Apply a template to a range of images and just to automate it even further.